So Rabbi, for the last, I would say, since October, I've been very consciously, intentionally living. And when you talk about our motives for things that we do and things that we say and how we're supposed to be living, I've been thinking about a lot about opening myself up to the to the extent in a Jewish community, as far as when I think about this, I'm thinking like Rabbi Wallerstein used to say, like share your tragedy because it could help somebody else. So I'm feeling in this point that in the next five years, this is something that I need to think about seriously. But when I think about it, I'm also feeling like I could potentially open myself up to vulnerability. And I'm not sure if that's something that I wanna do if I'm, I'm on, I'm on the fence if whether or not I should to help other people, do I leave myself open for not only vulnerability, but judgment and, and also the consequences that it could impose on my children. So I'm wondering to what, what weighs more to help other people or to put myself in this position. Yeah. So does a person, um, make themselves vulnerable and, uh, expose themselves to perhaps judgment or judgment calls or um, other 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 attacks or just being vulnerable um, to help other people? Or does one protect themselves first? I don't think most ways of people uh, helping people is going to make that happen. Most people give charity to people. So uh, we open ourselves up, you have money to give. I mean, everybody's money to give. <laughs> Most types of helping people is, is not uh, causing that to happen. Sometimes if you share your experience with somebody else and say, I went through the same thing that you're going through and uh, tell them about your experience and make the help of that way, uh, I, I don't see a, 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 in such a way that uh, it's going to be uh, anything negative to, towards yourself. To have a, is it sorry, it's around the in the Chama person uh, has uh, realized other people go through the same thing they're going through, it's a half of a comfort for them that they're not alone. They feel other people have to uh, uh, put up with the, sorry, the problems that they have. It gives them some uh, chizuk and uh, help them out. So I don't know exactly why, in which case, I can imagine sometimes if it's something very personal, it's not for a public knowledge, so then but then you should not open yourself up to other people if, if unless somebody very close to you that can keep a secret. But it, it, it depends on uh, what we're talking about. But uh, usually uh, uh, if you uh, uh, have to each, uh, each uh, 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 person and uh, problem that they have, uh, which could open you up, is uh, up to at that time to uh, decide how much you want to open yourself up to them and uh, what the consequence might be, and if no, will, will, will be the consequence. So then we say, your life comes before somebody else. If, if it's going to do some damage to yourself, then you should not do it. But I, I think most of the time, I don't think it'll be damage to you if you uh, help somebody else by opening yourself up to them and, and discussing with them the certain problems you have yourself. I think it might be good for yourself too. Uh, to be able to share it with somebody else, just like it's good for them, for them to, to hear you saying to them, it's not good for a person himself to feel that they're uh, sharing to, together and be able to cry on each other's shoulder and, uh, and, and feel good about it. Who can I call?